In this presentation, we are going to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function here, g of s. By the way, just as a remark, I use g to sort of indicate the function given in the question, and I tend to use f of s as, which is normally what is given. I use f for formula, so some structure from the formula. So g for given, f for formula sheet. So this is what we're asked to do here. Find the inverse Laplace transform of this. G of s equals 3 divided by s squared plus 4s plus 4. Well, what we have here is a quadratic in the bottom, polynomial of degree 2. So anytime we get a polynomial of degree 2, what we do is factorize it. So uh, you could do minus the minus uh, b formula, but you might sort of recognize that quickly as s plus 2 squared. So this is how we might write our formula now. g of s equals 3 divided by s plus 2 all squared. Now, how, how, what would we do here? So what, what, what helps us here? So there, what we might do here is use a special case of the shifting theorem. And this is from my formula sheet. It's actually the fifth entry. So if g of t equals, I'll just write it up here. Um, I also have a scaling constant here as well, k. But t of n to times e to the power of a t, the Laplace transform of that, I'll write it over on this side, is n factorial over s minus a n plus 2. Okay. Let's just backtrack here a second and sort of say, how, what, how did I get here? Um, what you do is, if you get something like this, you have to find the structure in the formula sheet that you think is closest to this. So we have s plus 2 to the power uh, s plus 2 squared um, 3 over s plus 2 squared so we could sort of say if n, equ n plus 1 we could sort of say n plus 1 equals 2 let's actually write this up here n plus 1 is equal to 2 we could have a equal to minus 2 and we can have n factorial um, as the uh, numerator. Now this is why I tend to bring in these scaling constants here. So I'll come back to that shortly, but if, for the time being what I'm going to sort of say is we're going to uh, consider our given function in that form. So a is going to be minus 2, n is going to be 1, and also n factorial is going to be 1. Now in this particular instance that's going to give us k is equal to 3. Okay. So, uh, how did we find 3? Let's just sort of go back here a second. I, I've actually just sort of sped out the answers there. But what I'm going to do is write it out a bit more. So I'm just going to scroll down here. So I'm just going to go back over that. We have 3 over s plus 2 squared. And we're writing that in the form n factorial over s minus a n plus 1. Okay. Now, what again, our scaling coefficient might be useful here, k. So, oh no, get rid of that. Uh, so it's k is just a sort of it's a, it's a numeric it's a scalar multiplication like it's two times whatever. So, let's go here. A is minus 2. That's straightforward enough. n necessarily has to be, n plus 1 necessarily has to be 2 and therefore n is going to be 1. Okay. So we got this bit okay. We got that bit okay. This bit here is what we need to sort out. So k times small k Oops, let's write that again. K times n factorial is equal to three. N factorial is equal to or n factorial is equal to one because it's one factorial. So k times one is equal to three. And there we have it. There. So uh, working through it there, 
what does that make our answer? G of t. Well, let's just, sorry, I'm just sliding up and down here. So we're just going to sort of put all our values back in here. And remember that the scaling, uh, the multi, uh, scalar coefficient, the scale up, that, uh, we remember to put that in as well. The answer is uh, t to the power of n by e a t times k. This is the value we're looking for. So that's equal to 3 uh, times t times e to the minus 2t. And that is the answer we're looking for. Let's just double check my notes there. Yeah. So that is g of t. That's the answer. So shifting theorem was uh, came in handy here. So that's g of t. And that is the inverse Laplace transform of g of s, which is what we started off with. Okay, that's enough for this presentation. We'll move on to the next one.